Anyway, I want to uh, welcome the uh, chorus from Great Lakes uh, this morning. And, uh, they've been practicing here since right after 9 o'clock, so they're, I don't know if they're all sung out or not. They're all too hoarse to carry on. I don't think so. I think they're going to do just fine. Anyway, uh, we are very glad that it's been a number of years since the chorus has been here at Oma. And uh, so it was well before COVID. You uh, see, so uh, anyway, we're glad that we finally got back and he, he arranged for it to John to be good to come. So uh, I, I think we're running for a good retreat here in the next several minutes. So I guess with that, uh, Josh uh, Hunter, we'll turn it over to you. Okay.
Well, as we sing about the greatness of our God, we see that God is awesome simply by who He is. But we also see His greatness by what He's done. And this next song is a song that takes us all the way back to uh, the people of Israel when they were enslaved in Egypt. And God showed His mighty power uh, by rescuing His people and setting them free from slavery in the land of Egypt. So this song is a kind of a fun take on that as we think about the story uh, called Go Down Moses. And as we sing it, I encourage you to just reflect on the greatness of God and His redemption.
he could save us, so that we could have fellowship with God once again. Uh, we're going to sing uh, two songs. We're going to sing Joy to the World and Angels We Have Heard on High in just a minute. And they're songs that reflect that powerful, powerful uh, truth of God coming to the earth. But before we do, I just wanted to read to you a really short uh, story that I, that I came across that I think sets the tone for what we're singing about. Because sometimes we sing songs like this, these beautiful hymns that were written a couple hundred years ago, and, and we know them off by heart because we've heard them, maybe even playing in the, the grocery store. Uh, we've heard them our whole lives, but we don't necessarily think about the depth of the meaning. And so I was thinking about the incarnation, and this story popped into my mind, and I wanted to share it with you this morning. It's a story of a man named David Platt who is uh, standing outside a Buddhist temple in Indonesia. and. Uh, and he's engaged in a conversation with some religious leaders from different religions in the world. And the story goes like this. They were discussing how all religions are fundamentally the same and only superficially different. They said, we may have different views about small issues, but when it comes down to essential issues, each of our religions is the same. I listened for a while, and when they asked me what I thought, I said, it sounds as though you all picture God, or whatever you call God, at the top of a mountain. And it seems as if you believe that we are all at the edge of that mountain, and I may take one road up the mountain, and you may take another, and we all end up in the same place. And they smiled as I spoke, and happily they replied, exactly, you understand. Then I leaned in and said, now let me ask you a question. What would you think if I told you that the God at the top of the mountain actually came down to where we are. What if I told you that God doesn't wait for people to find his way to them, but instead comes to us? They thought for a moment and then responded, that would be great. I replied, let me introduce you to Jesus. This is what sets Christianity apart from every other system of thinking in the world. That we don't have to try to find our way to some God up there some way. But God, the creator of the universe, has made himself known through Jesus Christ. By, through the incarnation, by coming to this earth, God in the flesh. And if we want to know what God is like, we look to Jesus. And that is cause for good news of great joy. So we're going to sing Joy to the World together. We'd love for you to sing with us if you know it. So feel free to sing along as we sing together.
the most magnificent choral presentation the world has ever seen. But what's spectacular for us is that the angels didn't quite grasp what we are able to grasp as sinners who, have desperately, uh, who are desperately in need of salvation, who have been redeemed by Jesus Christ. And so we can stand here and sing, maybe not as beautifully as all the heavenly hosts, but from our hearts, filled with great joy for what God has done. Well, that announcement, I bring you good news of great, great joy, uh, was not just for some people, but it was for all people. And one of the joys that we have at Great Lakes is we have students who join us from so many different nations in the world. And uh, so we're going to sing a song now that captures uh, the various nations that are represented at our school. We're going to sing a familiar song called How Great Is Our God, but we're going to sing it in a whole bunch of different languages. And each of the languages are spoken by students here in our chorus this morning. Before we sing it, though, I'm going to give them an opportunity to introduce themselves to you so they can, uh, you, they can share with you where they're from and you can hear where some of these languages that we're going to be singing are from. Hi guys, I come from China and um, I'm Jiang.
Uh, good morning. A lot of familiar faces here, and some that are not. I am Don Rose, the Chief Administrator at Great Lakes. And I'm sad to say this is probably the last time I'll visit uh, OMA as the Chief Administrator of Great Lakes. I am uh, leaving at the end of this academic year, and that was just a choice to say I've been in one place too long. It's been 27 years that I've worked at the school. Uh, nine of those as a, as a teacher and 18 as an administrator. And so one of the things that Josh and I talked about was there are so many congregations that we haven't been to even prior to COVID in a long time. No one's one of them. Uh, we appreciate so much your faithfulness in this community, in Mississauga, in this area. And, uh, and we just want an opportunity to come to say thank you for your faith. Thank you for many of you who support our schools. Uh, it's nice to be able to say that face to face. And, and also just to encourage you. Uh, one of the things that I remember in all the years at the Course of Saga, we love the acoustics of this building. It's remarkable. So actually, just like your congregation, we have several people who are not here today because they're sick. We're supposed to have about six more people, and that didn't happen. Um, and yet, with the smaller number, we can still resonate in here, and we pray that that encourages you as much as, it, as it's been encouraging me sitting in the front in the front queue. I just want to say a couple things uh, about the school. Uh, we just had our school play uh, a week ago. And then, of course, the Christmas break is coming. We are so excited to have a youth rally. Uh, again, because of course during COVID years we couldn't do that, and that is in April. And so please uh, continue to visit our website, reach out, stay connected. One of the ways that you can stay connected and support Great Lakes Bible College and Great Lakes Christian High School is to be a corporation member. And you also get uh, information in the year. You get to choose our boards, the direction of our schools, and, and you can pay one price, uh, $50 for an annual membership to be a corporation member of both. It's a small way in which you can support those ministries, but also get more information about what's happening at those ministries. So that's something I'd like to encourage you to do. I want to introduce one other person that's traveling with us today. This is Brad Cook. Uh, Brad has worked with me in development for the last couple of years, and I, he has no intention of moving on, and so he's been traveling with us in the chorus and, and meeting people in congregations so that we've got a little bit of continuity with Josh's as I transition out and hopefully have a new successor in uh, February or March is the goal. So, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to you for your support and for your faith. And it is our rich blessing uh, that you are blessed uh, here this morning and uh, moving into the future. So, thank you for the relationship that we've had for so many years. It means a lot to us. God bless. Just mention one more thing. Do we have USBs? Oh, we do. Okay, fantastic. Uh, if you uh, if you enjoyed the, the singing this morning, and if you'd like to take a little bit of that home, we used to always travel with CDs, and uh, CDs aren't as uh, popular anymore. So now we have uh, little USB sticks that have the Great Lakes logo on them, and uh, it has some music from over the past several years. It doesn't have this chorus on it, but it does have a, a two uh, versions of that song that we just sang, How Great Is Our God, in different languages from previous choruses. Uh, with some different languages than perhaps you heard this morning, and a couple of other songs as well uh, from, from over the years. And I think there may be a couple here in the room who are on that CD, so uh, you, can, you can listen for that. All right, we're, we're going to sing two more songs for you this morning. Uh, these are songs that really describe the, the impact of what Jesus has done in this world, that here we are over 2,000 years later, after Jesus walked the earth, uh, being transformed by the power of Jesus right here today, halfway around the world, and that's the case in every nation on earth today. There are people who are coming to Jesus and continuing to experience the transforming grace and mercy that he offers. And so this song is, these last two songs are a picture of the global impact, but also the eternal impact of, of Christ's coming. That one day in the future, uh, there is certainty that we will gather around the throne of God with people from every nation, language, tribe, and tongue singing the praises of our God. And so we conclude with a song called Holy Forever and then Him of Heaven.
Uh, so we're going to transition uh, over the next 15 minutes for worship, but I just wanted to stand up and say that our program is done. And I'm just going to take a couple of pictures of them before they get in. So uh, in 15 minutes, we look forward to worshiping with you. Thank you.